Hello, and welcome to Richardson RPD's Tech Chat. I'm David D. Leonardo, America's, America's Energy and Power FAE at Richardson RPD, here with Eric Schulte, Product Marketing Manager for Wolfspeed Semiconductor's Discrete Products. And we're talking about Wolfspeed's top side cooled silicon carbide MOSFETs. Thanks for joining us today, Eric. Happy to be here, Dave. Eric, I've seen a, a lot of interest from my customers in topside cooled silicon carbide MOSFETs for a number of reasons. Tell me, how does the thermal performance of your package compare to that of the same die in a D2 pack or some other surface mount package? Yeah, uh, it's a great question, Dave. Um, perhaps it'd be helpful if I start off with just ex answering what exactly is topside cooled. Uh, there's a lot of discussion, a lot of excitement uh, about this new packaging technology from customers today. Uh, but Implementation is pretty straightforward, right? We're taking the heating path and we're actually flipping it up out through the device. Um, and so you're going to be looking at, for those customers that are familiar with using surface mount devices today, such as a TO2637 lead, um, those devices are actually just going to be soldered on the exact same way, but we're going to flip the cooling path so it goes vertically out away from the PCB, uh, and then we apply some sort of TIM or thermal interface material between that and the heat sink. Typically, uh, looking at why customers are interested in this, not just figuring out a new way to mechanically uh, build or solder their boards together, but it's because we're able to double, in some cases, even more than double the power density that they have in their designs. Um, of course, that comes from being able to utilize both sides of the PCB. Um, and one of the main advantages that comes from the topside cooling doesn't necessarily jump out at you when you look at uh, data sheet comparisons, right? And that's because a lot of the case to ambient improvement is what customers are going to realize. So it's not just uh, electrical engineers, but also mechanical engineers that we're working with as they hope to bring these devices, their new designs into production. Great. So Eric, how does the electrical performance of your TSC package compare to that is the same die in, in a similar D2 pack or, or a surface mount package? Yeah, I would say in short, we can drive the devices harder. I'm more specifically saying you have improved dynamic switching performance, and that's due to the reduced uh, gate driver and power loops that the customers have on their board designs. Um, okay. If we look at here, and just to clarify what I was referring to earlier from the performance, this is a generalized uh, result, but what we're seeing from a lot of customers today, and you can see that roughly 30% uh, reduction in a thermal impedance is huge for them, especially for space constrained, um, closed case, uh, fanless designs that customers have been working with. Great. Okay, well, what assembly process should be followed in mounting your TSC package at the PCB and subsequent attachment of the heatsink to the TSC device? Should the heatsink be mounted before or after the solder connections are made, or is there freedom in that? Uh, good news, uh, at least for the production engineers, is going to be that it's the exact same process. Right? So you have, you're soldering your reflow, and then you're going to potentially apply the heat, heat sink up on top of it. So one step in addition to that, but otherwise the exact same component uh, placement processes, any other surface mount. Great. Now, now your, your TSC package looks very similar to that of uh, other six suppliers already on the market. How is your package different from theirs? Yep, uh, another one we've gotten a lot. Um, so Wolf Speed, so we're calling the U2 package for our 1200 volt family devices, uh, is the exact same dimensions as some other options on the market today. However, you may notice here from the picture, uh, the drain pins are actually curved on our device, uh, and that's for two main benefits, one of which we reduce the current crowding that's coming out for the pins into the PCB, and also we want to make sure that from a mechanical standpoint that there's no shearing going on those sharp corners, uh, or in our case, we reduce the probability that will happen with the thermal interface material that's applied between the device and the heat sink. Great. Okay. Well, what devices are you releasing first in this package? So as I mentioned, our U2 family is 1200 volts. Uh, we also have another uh, top side cooling device uh, the family at 750 volts that's coming shortly thereafter. Great. Well, Eric, thank you for helping us learn more about Wolfspeed's top side cooled products and the value they can provide 
to the Power Electronics Marketplace. We appreciate your time today, and we thank you all for watching our tech chat video. You can learn more about this and other topics on the Energy and Power section of the Richardson RFPD website. Follow our Ask an Expert link to submit your question relative to design challenges that you might have. Thank you. Thanks, David.